Young Marines in Iraq, the best of generation killed. You asked for it, let's go. Why'd they shoot at us? Gotta ask yourself, when did this mission concept ever made sense? Driving through basically a valley with buildings around you. You're going to get constant contact. I'm not sure what the answer is, but I don't think this was the answer. At a minimum in Humvees. What do you guys think? Here we go, boys. Yeah, what a fucking birthday. I always love how the combatants shoot ghetto style with the rifle up in the air, not aiming at anything. People often talk about the M4, how accurate it is, or whatever platform. Most people aren't aiming, but those guys, it's just ridiculous. And they could be hitting... The neighbor kid are shooting at the Marines. Now I can say the guy getting on his scope, right? It wasn't an ACOG. I don't know what they were showing there. It's probably not going to happen when you're in a vehicle getting shot at and you're nervous. So you're probably not getting on your scope. Iron sights make a hell of a lot more sense. Yeah, I don't know if you've ever seen what a 50 does to a cement block or a building or a wall, but it's going to take it down pretty fast. I mean, hell, a 762 by 51 can do a job on a cement block, no less those buildings. So when you're hammer away on a 50, that thing is going to come down pretty quick, or at least the walls are going to collapse. <laughs> I think this does a pretty good job of depicting the chaos here. You know, the guy driving the Humvee, everyone's stressed out. You guys ever have any of the brass from the 50 dropping the Hummer behind your collar? That's always fun. Put that in the comments. I was in the Joint Chiefs of Staff and someone gave a shit about my opinion, I would get those reporters out of these units that are patrolling all the time and doing combat. I think they're a total liability. I think all they want to do is a smear campaign, in this case for the Marine Corps. I don't see any need for them to be there. What do you guys think? Put it in the comments. Let it rip. You get that? Yeah. I don't want to shoot no fucking farmer. Shit, I'd shoot a farmer. Sir, you got any word from the rest of the world? Is the UN going in with us? Or are we on our own? It's the usual French talk of stall and surrender. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, boy. Yes, yes! Go, go, go! Get to the vehicle! Go, 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 go! go, 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 go. Come on, Lou, put a move on it! That's it, we gotta go! Get to the vehicle, Pete! Done more of those gas, gas, gas drills. You know, you never knew half the time, is it a drill, is it a real gas attack? But th what a huge, colossal waste of time. There was never any gas used. Most of the lung damage was from us burning our own crap and from explosives. So what do you guys think about that? I think it serves a purpose, but all this gas, 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 nothing ever came of it that I'm aware of. What 
What do you got, Sergeant? Can you help me with the... I'm going to assume that's the idiot reporter. You know, you see what I'm talking about. You're wasting time dealing with this guy. He's not trying to do you any favors. He's not writing a glowing piece on the Marine Corps. It's a screw job. And now you got to deal with these idiots. All clear. All clear. Perform testicle surgery on the reporter. You know, but an F up amongst Marines is one thing. An F up among some liberal reporter whose job is to do a McChrystal on you, right? Like the Rolling Stone piece. I just don't need it. I'm too old to put up with those guys if I were in. And I hope young Marines realize, say nothing to them. It's like getting taken in for questioning. Say nothing, do nothing, because they're not going to help you. Alpha took three artillery hits. Somebody has an idea we're here. And we've got four hours of daylight to make it to our next position. We're not going to deal with these surrenders. Send them back where? What, the fucking death squads? Sir, under Articles 13 and 20 of the Geneva Convention, we're obligated to take care of and protect any fuckers who surrender to us. Division has ordered us to unsurrender. I hate that to no end. The guys that start quoting some Geneva Convention thing. Follow me here for a second. You're trying to kill somebody. You don't. You injure them. Then you got to take care of them. Then you're their ongoing butler, right? That makes absolutely no sense. And this guy being holier now wondering about if they're going to go back to a death squad. You got to worry about your Marines and the mission. These other people, unfortunately, that's the reality to it. Put that in the comments, what your thoughts are there. These Iraqis. Hey, Nichols. Right, this is you see it. I'm not here to stop you. Iraqis first contact with Americans. We fuck them. This is what we're talking about, sir. Actually, sir, it's the only place in the compound not covered by this three-meter wall. Those holier-than-thou types, I didn't run into too many, but, you know, worried about the people, worried about stuff that's outside of your control. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't control what the head shed or the government decides at their whims. You just got to take care of your buddies and get back. What do you guys think about that without getting political? It's this chain-link fence. Get out! Sniper, he's in front of us. How can you tell? You can only hear that clearly when he's directly in front of the rifle barrel. That zip means it's passing a few meters from our ears. One at a time! Bounding! You know, you'd hope one of these guys, and I'm going to call it a fire team, would have a saw or something to put down some cover fire. You know, I know this is a movie, but... Here we go again, taking care of the little babysitting the reporter, right? Reporter, you ready? Yes! Go! <laughs> what the hell is he doing? I'm gonna jack wagon. Set, sir! All off, sir. Reporter, what the fuck was that? Serpentine shell, serpentine. You know, the movie, The In-Laws. I was running invasively. Next time we come under fire, run in a straight line, you'll live longer. <laughs> you know, I love when people come up with this stuff from watching television or playing Xbox. Like this guy, a Serpentine, Serpentine. Just run, brother, before you get shot in the back. what they need. Hmm. 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 Hm
Not that themselves, the Joris Bush. They say they require only two items, uh, fresh water and statues of George Bush, which they plan to erect <laughs> up and down the street as soon as the Americans help them pump out the sewage. They think uh, Bush is a ruler like Saddam. They don't understand the idea of a president who may be next year. Don't you love that? They were dealing with sewage before. That was their life. Then all of a sudden we come in and we show just a little bit of kindness and the demands keep coming and coming and coming. You know, just amazing. And we do it, right? Let's rebuild everything. Let's fix it. It's not going to work. Nation building's been a failure. Go out. The drinking shit water. Damn. You've taken the country apart. You're not putting it back together. The violence that goes on at night, letting vigilantes and thieves out, will not correct the problems of Saddam's rule. You know, I agree with what this guy said. You take it apart. You try to put it back together. Military is good at a couple things. One is taking things apart, right? Breaking things. The next is killing people. We're not capable of putting it back together. I don't know when we've tried this, but the half-hearted measures don't work. Rant over. All this is a bomb. If it explodes, it will be bigger than the war. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. For my current subscribers, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.